Hello everybody, Mrs. Duffy here. I wanted to create a video for you to help show how to get into the assignments I have posted in Google Classroom. I am logged in as a student with her permission so that you can see the student view of what you need to be doing to get into the media lessons um, during our um, shutdown. So when you go into Clever, which is where you always get uh, go to when you log in first, you should go to Google Classroom. And when Google Classroom opens up for you, it's actually going to go right into your uh, Google Classroom. Mine is showing all of my classes that I have here. So I'm actually going to go into fourth grade media as this is a fourth grade student that I'm logged in as. And you will see an assignment that I have posted. So you'll see that Jody Duffy has posted a new assignment called Cycle 9. When you click on that assignment, you'll click on Instructions and you will see the assignment. So I've just listed a, uh, the assignment here with a note. This is the link to the class, the lesson for this cycle. Click on the turkey that has November 17th through November 24th under it. Go through the slides that are for your grade level. When you have gone through the slides and done the activities, you can explore the libraries of online books by clicking on the book boxes or footstools in any of the rooms. Remember to click present to make it bigger enjoy. Stay safe and healthy and we will see each other soon. So all you have to do is click on where it says November Media Virtual Classroom. Remember we all saw this last week in uh, media class. And remember it sometimes takes a while to, op to open so you just have to be patient. Don't keep clicking. And remember the message said to click on present. So we'll click on present. And as it's loading, just a reminder, remember I said this is the uh, classroom that we'll go to the whole month of November. So this will take us until we uh, return in December. So um, hopefully you recall that I had these different footstools here that open into different classroom or different libraries, online libraries for books. Today, I just wanna show you to get onto the third turkey, which says November 17th through the 24th. When you open that up, It'll immediately go to the lesson that you need to go through, the slideshow that you need to go through. So again, we click on present just to make it bigger. It's just easier to see. And again, it takes may take a little while to load. We just have to be patient. And you will just click through these slides by clicking on the arrow on your keyboard. So We'll read our objectives, so go ahead and do that with your parents or, or by yourselves if you need to, if you can. And I have a video for kindergarten through second grade, so just click the video and watch it. Then I have an activity. So you're not actually going to be choosing words and moving them around. We just want to um, have you go through the words and try to fill in the sentence. You'll probably need some help from your mom and dad for this, and that is certainly okay. If you need to take a little brain break, you can get funky with Tommy the turkey, just a little movement activity. And again, I am just um, pushing the arrow through this. So third and fourth graders will watch this video and then third and fourth graders will do the activity. You will find the game Interland on your, um, on, on my page, on Mrs. Duffy's page. And the game that I want you to play this week is here called, uh, it's about secrets. So you'll go to Interland under the digital citizenship skills on Mrs. Duffy's page. This is again, only for third and fourth graders. Click through here and then you get to this uh, new page, new, no, new room that has four more um, online libraries for you. So I have the directions here that says click on a book box to open a new library and I have the labels on so you know what they are. Remember to close the book. Um, so close the tab at the top before opening a new book. So if I click on Black Lagoon, so fun books from the Black Lagoon. And again, it will load and sometimes it just takes a while because there's a lot of things going on here.
this just shows that there's a lot of fun things to find. It's still loading. Might have to click on Black Lagoon again. There we go. So if it doesn't work for you the first time, just remember you can just click on different links and get into some fun things that I have here for you. So here are some Black Lagoon books. So you'll click on a book. It hasn't fully loaded here. You'll click on a book and it will open a new video that you can go ahead and watch. This is called The Librarian from the Black Lagoon. So when you click on play, it'll go through the entire uh, video and then you can um, be done with that one. So when I was talking about close the tab, remember we have tabs going across the top of the screen and these are all um, kind of single pages. So you'll want to click on, after the video is over, you'll want to close this tab by clicking on the X so that you can go to a new book. If you don't, it may continue playing and then you'll hear a bunch of different read alouds going at the same time and that might be kind of confusing. Um, as a reminder, we close down all of the tabs when we are done. And you can certainly go back into my page as many times as you would like, um, but make sure you go to your do your other specials activities as well. And um, as far as closing down, remember after we're all done, we click on sign out. We wait for the computer to go to sleep for a little bit. It'll wake back up and then we click on shut down. It is really important that we're shutting down our computers, boys and girls, while we are um, out of school. So we make sure we get the updates and the important things that we need. I hope this makes it a little bit easier for you to find your lessons. And I hope to see you all again very soon. Goodbye.